In this video, we're gonna take a look and study one of my favorite t-shirt shops online, and that is Snorg Tees. We're gonna look at their designs and discover different ways that they create their awesome t-shirt designs. And I'm gonna show you 10 things that they do, 10 different design styles that they use so that you can see what a good t-shirt design looks like and use it in your own shop. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And right around that time is when I started looking online for examples of good t-shirt designs. And I found this place called Snorg Tees. They're still in business. I believe they started in 2005, 2007, right around the time when I started. And they just have some amazing designs. Uh, their designs are all revolved around graphic humor. Uh, which is really great and I think these kinds of designs would sell well on Amazon and Redbubble and things like that. If you look at funny t-shirts, you'll see a ton of those on any of those print on demand shops. People love these kinds of funny things. So what I'm gonna do and what I wanna do uh, in the future is take a look. I tell people all the time uh, that don't know how to make designs is to go study, go out there, look at Target, look at some other t-shirt shops and study what they do. This is what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you how to study what people do. Um, in this case, we're gonna look at Snorg Tees. I'm gonna go through and kind of scroll through all their designs and I'm gonna pull out different ones that I notice that there's a theme on um, the way that they're styling their t-shirts. So I'll show you 10 different ones, 10 different styles that they use to create their designs. This isn't gonna cover all of them, but they're gonna range from very easy to a little more difficult. So. Uh, no matter what kind of t-shirt designer you are if you're a new designer then you're gonna find something for you if you're someone that can design really well then i'll have something for you at the end as well we're gonna kind of go in order with kind of the easiest ones first and then it'll get a little more difficult but if you study these and kind of look at the layout we're gonna look at layout and color and what uh, each one involves so i can kind of teach you what a good t-shirt design looks like hopefully you can use it in your own design style your own shop and get more sales and that's the idea is to teach you good design techniques um, from other people just learn from them we're not looking at um, what they're putting on there we're looking at how they lay it out so if you want to look at that and see the 10 different ones let's do that now first I'm gonna go to Snorg Tees kind of show you the website so that you can go on there and look yourself uh, and then I'm gonna break it down into 10 different styles so here I am on Snorg Tees, uh, snorgtees.com. I'm on the about page. Just wanted to fact check myself and see that this company actually started in 2004. So a little before I started on here, but they're great. They just started off great. I'm going to show you the t-shirts. I'm going to do best sellers so that you can see what kinds of stuff they did. But you can look at uh, all t-shirts and they have categories and things like that. But just take a look at some of these designs. This is just so cool, very easy. You notice they don't have a lot of colors, um, but they most of them are laid out in tall rectangle, right? Tall rectangle here, but some of them aren't. They break, break the idea right here, but just some really fun and clever stuff. Again, this is graphic humor, so mainly a graphic um, and almost always funny. Um, in fact, I think all of these are just uh, hilarious. So, so they do a lot of references to Star Wars, Star Trek, pop culture, different things like that. I'm not saying to do those kinds of things. I'm just, we're just looking at layout right now. So uh, you can see here with the text and the graphics, how do you put together a graphic and text to make it look good on a t-shirt? Well, these guys have found multiple different ways and I'm gonna pull some of these things out to show you what they do, but sometimes there's no words, right? So if you scroll through here, you can really just scroll through here um, for a long time those were the best sellers but if I went here to view all this thing goes on forever so let me just do the scroll here you can see just they just have a ton of shirts of course because they've been here since 2004 and you can see a lot of them have to do with dinosaurs and uh, cats and you know um, gaming thing and, and things of pop culture right um, Pac-Man and, and things like that. So just be careful not to do those kinds of things. You shouldn't copy these designs anyway. We're just gonna look at layout and how they how they use text and graphics together. But I just wanted to show you kind of a resource of good t-shirt design. All of these are, are great 
they're all a little bit different. Uh, some are better than others in my opinion. Like that's a great layout, right? This is a great layout. Some of them are just really easy, you know, with text and a design. Anybody could do those. Uh, and of course, anybody can just put words on a t-shirt, but I'm going to try and show you some other ones um, that they do. Just kind of looking at these and, and showing you. So one of the things that I like to do uh, if I'm ever stuck and I need to brainstorm, I go to places like this and kind of just get inspired of what kind of things. Now, don't copy any of these things. You don't want to do your own version of this thing, but uh, this can help you kind of brainstorm and think about, you know, um, maybe a different topic or a different way to to lay things out and things like that. So have fun with this. Um, keep scrolling down here. You can see it goes almost goes on forever. Uh, all the t-shirts that they have. So lots of different ideas. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, and look at 10 different examples and I'll show you what I've found and kind of talk through them so that you can see different ways that you can lay out your t-shirts. All right, so here we are first. I, I pick one of the easiest ones first, and that is, I'm calling it text on top with the straight words. So text on top straight. Um, you see right here, there's a big graphic, usually a big graphic, and the words on the top are pretty straight, right? They're not curving or anything. Um, they kind of, and this one right here, you know, they're not all on the same line, but they're pretty straight up. So and even though this one isn't right on a straight line, you can see it's um, at the top here. It's not like doing an arc or anything like that. So uh, here's some examples and some things that you can do with this is make sure you use very few words. So this works very well with one or two words. You can see here one. This one has two words, two words, two words down here. Uh, one long word right here. Uh, and then there's a bigger graphic, right? So that takes up most of the space. And of course, there has to be some humor in it because this is uh, humor, graphic humor. Uh, and so, you know, this one is hump day with the camel or this one has a funny picture or just the words or the picture could be funny. Uh, the picture alone here, this tree isn't funny by itself, but with the words, it is funny, right? So uh, sometimes the picture doesn't, the graphic doesn't have to be funny for this to work. So have fun with this one. This is really easy. If you can think of a funny uh, one or two word phrase that matches a graphic that you already have or want to draw, I think this will work really well. The next one is this text on top arc, which is ex almost exactly the same thing, but this time I'm arcing the text. So you can see you can have a really uh, fun arc like this one, a little more rounded or just a very slight arc like this, but same thing, one or two words, um, graphic again, that's nice and funny. And you notice these graphics don't have a lot of color, one or two colors, maybe three here, um, but very good graphics, right? So you have to have some good artwork to support this one um, and a bigger graphic because it takes up the most of the page, the graphic needs to be the star on this one. So you can see not, not too hard like these, these aren't super realistic graphics, but they're funny. They know um, you can tell what this is. It's a sloth on a unicorn, right? This is a, a cheese getting grated, right? And a, a hedgehog and things like that. So you have to think about this beforehand. Don't just put text with a graphic. It has to be funny and has to be something that people um, think is funny when they see it. They have to get it right away, right? Uh, number three. Now, a lot of people um, don't have graphics and want to use words and that's fine. Uh, this one is when there's a lot of words and you can see what they do when there's a lot of words. They usually put some kind of graphic to create some interest or use two different fonts or do um, smaller and bigger fonts to kind of create interest, right? There's usually something in here. You see all of these have some kinds of thing. It's not just straight text. And you can see this one has some really cool uh, things going on. This one is kind of at an angle and different things like that. So you, if you have a lot of words, and in this case, there's mostly words, and you just want to keep it simple with one or two colors. You can see this one and this one have one color and the others have just two colors, right? So keep it simple, but create interest with maybe different graphics or how you do your fonts or, or something like that. So um, this is another pretty easy way to do it. You can see a lot of these are tall rectangles as well. So keep that in mind. But this one, mostly words, you can learn a lot from what they do just with words. Number four is this tall arc. So unlike just the little arc, like a rainbow, this one kind of has a straight line, almost like a pill, like half of a pill, those long pills straight here and then an arc and then straight down. I haven't taught how to do this. I've 
probably do a video on how to do this uh, in Affinity Designer and other places, but you can see all of these kind of have a tall arc, right? Um, this is a trend that I've been seeing lately, and I think it will continue to, you'll continue to see this throughout the years. And what this is good for is if there's a tall picture or tall graphic that you have. So like this, you can see this is a tall graphic. And so that's perfect for to use this technique to have the tall arc, right? And again, I'll have this humor side. So um, this arc on the side is what you're looking for. And, and you can put stuff below it. You can put text below it, but you don't have to. You can see right here, this has a tall graphic and we're using the tall arc behind it with words. So try to use kind of four to seven words is where I'm, uh, what I think it would be the right amount of words for the arc part. And if you need to put some words below, then you can use that as well. So this is uh, number four to tall arc. Number five is the perfect circle. I'm calling this the perfect circle because you can see it looks just like a circle on the top and the bottom. And um, this works perfect for a lot of designs where you can put two to four words on the top and two to four words on the bottom. You can see three and three, three and three, and they all kind of look the same here with a graphic in the middle, right? So two to four on the top, two to four on the bottom, graphic in the middle, real simple. And these, again, don't have a lot of colors um, and they can work for multiple different kinds of uh, ideas and topics. So if you have an idea and you have a nice graphic and can think of uh, words, maybe put it in a circle like this. I think it works really well. Just a nice shape uh, for t-shirt designs and real simple to do. So this one's not really a design style, but a design idea. So this one I'm calling not the thing. And really it's just a simple graphic, but you're putting one or two words that describe a different thing altogether. So let me show you what I mean. So obviously this is not a taco. This is a hot dog and it says taco right here. And this one, uh, this guy's playing baseball and he's saying touchdown and the opposite here. Uh, this guy's playing football and he's saying home run and the opposite of the taco hot dog here is it says a it is a taco but it says hot dog so just the opposite of everything uh, you could put baseball under here under this football and you could put you know um, duck under here or something like that it's going quack so think of have a nice graphic and maybe put the opposite thing in there this is a funny one and very simple to do it's simple graphics one or two words and basically put what it's not so now we're getting just a little more difficult and this one I'm calling the three circle Venn diagram. A Venn diagram usually um, for the most part have two, but it's intersecting ideas together. And then the center is the thing that uh, is the commonality, right? So in this case, um, let's see an easy one right here. If uh, the things that connect believing uh, me now and thinking about tomorrow is don't stop, don't stop believe in don't stop me now and don't stop thinking about tomorrow so that's the middle part so if you can think of something um, don't copy these again but if you can think something that has a common trait between three different things you can see here a platypus has you know a bill of a duck and the tail of a beaver and um, something of a snake I don't know what has <laughs> of a snake but that's kind of what it is right so um, this one's really cool uh, and again it has that nice shape and I think people uh, can relate to it and it tells a story right so um, this is a fun one to do but can take a little bit more thinking and a little more design with this one because you're going to have to find more graphics and more things that works with it but have fun with this one this is a cool one to do I'm calling it the three circle Venn diagram so number eight I'm calling this two things talking so basically uh, it's like a cartoon where two things are talking to each other and you can see lots of different ways to do this so think of a comic where um, and it's funny it has to be have funny but two cute graphics that have words on them so you can see here um, a french fry is saying bonjour and the taco is saying hola um, and that's funny right they're talking to each other so try to think something really quick you don't want them to um, have long things to say one or two words each you know and, and get the message across really quickly so try to fit it in a square like these are here but it doesn't have to be a tall rectangle all the time but uh, if you can that would be great so number nine this one's a little more difficult too for those that have lots of graphics or lots of design experience I'm calling this groups of stuff so you can see here lots of different groups of stuff we've got sharks we've got animals plants cats insects um, just have if you have a lot of different graphics of the same thing just slightly different 
then you can do this one and uh, everything has a name on them so you can see underneath they're kind of just saying what each thing is and usually it's really funny i can't read all of these but you can see uh, if you want to go on there and look at it maybe zoom in here and see all of these have really funny names and this is going to take a lot of time to design as well as think of what each thing should be called but i think uh, if you put some time into this one and make it really funny i think this will uh, get a lot of sales especially for people who love cats or who love plants or who love the thing that you're doing in here i think this could do really well and sell a lot of t-shirts so the last one, number 10. Now this one is I by far I think is the most difficult unless you already have a design like this, but I'm calling it the National Park theme. So you can see here, all of these say the word National Park, even though they're not National Park. So you can kind of um, fake it. So you can see a lot of these are designed very similarly. Uh, the National Park, whatever it is uh, on the bottom. And then you have this nice graphic, kind of scenic graphic with a few colors on there and, and silhouettes. So think about that. Think about what could be a fake national park and uh, that would be funny and uh, come up with your own one. Again, this is gonna take a lot of design skill and a lot of uh, thinking of what it could be to make it funny, but I think this one will pay off because this would make a great poster as well if you can do it right. Can make great posters on Redbubble and Redbubble always looks for things like this where it's very artistic uh, and very um, timely and, and funny as well. So. Uh, have fun with this one. If you're an artist that can do this, more power to you. Um, this is a good one to do and I think it'd take a long time but it will pay off. So here's a simple recap of all 10 that I talked about today. If you want to take a snapshot of this just to have it in your record or just write these down, this is great. These are not all the design styles on Snorg Tees. There, there's a lot more but these are 10 that I have picked out so that you can try them out and see how they work for you. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully all these examples are helping you learn how to design a t-shirt better. Uh, if you struggle with that, go and look at these things. Try them out. Try them at different words and different graphics, of course. Make up your own thing. Uh, let me know how that works out for you. If this video was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here. The question of the day for this video is, what other places do you look for inspiration? Let me know in the comments. I would love to do videos for all these different places. I'm planning on doing one for like Target or uh, different places in the mall and things like that online so that you can uh, access those things and kind of look at inspiration. I'm gonna try and do this as a series. I wanted to start with Snorg Tees because they're one of my favorites and real simple to understand. They have great colors and great design styles. So let me know those in the comments. Thanks again for watching and if you want to see more videos on how to design t-shirts, click on these right here. I'll go over some of my styles. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.